Hello guys, welcome to week six of our series called The Secret Is Out. Out. I hope you guys have been having an awesome journey of discovering and seeing how the Bible points back to Jesus because I have learned so much over the past few weeks. So Jade, have you learned a lot over the past few weeks? I've learned so much, Sia. So I have a game that I want us to play this today. It's called Would, Would You, you Rather? Rather? So, Jade, do you want to kick us off with the first question? Sure. So, this is how it works. You basically have to choose between the two things. So, first one, would you rather um, be an actor or a teacher? Hmm. Think about it, guys. That's a really good question. I think I'd be an actor. A, a teacher, sorry. I would be a teacher. Okay. I think I'd be an actor. Why would you want to be an actor? Because you can do all kinds of different things. You can be a spy. In this movie, you can be someone else. Mm, so you get to live multiple personalities. I get you there. So, I, okay, here's a question for you. Would okay. you rather eat pizza for the rest of your life or would you rather just eat uh, vegetables? Pizza. I love pizza, especially pineapple on pizza, which I know a lot of people don't like. Yep. I think I would also eat pizza because then all the vegetables can be on the pizza True, than just yeah. eating Smart, smart. Do you have another one for us? Okay, would you rather hmm, live in the time of the dinosaurs or live in space? <sighs> Both of them a bit. <laughs> I think I'd rather live in space because at least the harm is less. True. Yeah. I think hmm, I like dinosaurs, but also it's very dangerous, so maybe space too. Okay. So, last question. Would you rather be that kid at school that laughs along and joins everybody when somebody is being bullied or embarrassed or would you be the person who stands up for that person even if you don't have to physically go in there but can notify a teacher which which one of the two would you be so yeah, obviously i would want to be the person who stands up for everyone and not be the bully yes i would also choose that it might be difficult to choose that but i know it is choosing the better option the mm -hmm. better decision and making sure that somebody is protected so we get in life that we live in we get to choose are we going to take the bad side which is more convenient and more funky because it's more worldly or are we going to choose life and choose things that sometimes it might be awkward but we know out of it there is more life in it and we know that it brings about uh, more direction in people's life. So Jade, in the Bible, we get to see so many people constantly having to make decisions between good and bad. Uh, just like uh, when Eve had to choose, do I eat this apple or not? And ended up choosing that. And out of her choosing that, it led her to not having life in abundance. But we get, even today, we still have to find ourselves having to choose between option A and option B. Mm. But how has that been? How do you go about making decisions in your life? Well, see, so yeah, sometimes it can be hard because we have so many things going on around us and we have social media and we have people telling us what to do. But if we accept God into our lives, then the Holy Spirit can help us to make these decisions. Sure. So basically what you're saying, when we choose God, mm -hmm. we choose more meaningful decisions and more life in it. Yes, yeah. Sure. And we choose a life full of abundance. Yeah. So guys, I hope even in your life, you are able to choose God and you are able to choose him because he says that he gives us life in abundance. Unlike the thief who only comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. So we need to always constantly choose God because he brings life in abundance. Jade, do you want to maybe share the verse of today? Okay, see, so, so in Deuteronomy 30 verse 1, it says, I'm offering, offering you life or death, blessing or curse. Now choose life. Then you and your children may live. Sure. That is really beautiful. So you making that decision to choose life and to choose Jesus, it's not only about you and about today, but it, it impacts the generation that is yet to follow after you. So guys, I don't know, maybe you are like, wow, this is so mind-blowing, Jade. And you're like, I really want to also choose life. I want to also choose this Jesus that is so amazing and gives us life in abundance. If that is you right now, I want you to just maybe close your eyes um, and then we're just going to pray with you. So, Jade, let's just pray with them. Okay, so close your eyes. 
so thank you father god that you sent your son to die on the cross for us um from this day on we want to accept jesus as our lord and savior and we want to put our past life behind us and we repent from our sins and we accept him in your name amen amen with you just making that prayer, it means you have completely surrendered your life to Jesus and you have chosen life. So maybe you're like, okay, but what now? What do I do? We have some awesome uh, material to just help you journey even further. We have the journal down below, which you can download so that you can be able to a journey with God and hear what God is saying to you into your life. And you can also listen to the daily podcasts where you can hear just nuggets of God's word and which will just help you grow and even become closer to who God wants you to be. But there's also some other funky stuff that they can do. What are they? Yeah, you can like, share and subscribe to our channel. Yes, because in that way, more and more people get to see this content. Guys, don't forget to also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. So guys, it looks like we have come to the end of our episode. I hope you guys are ready to choose life and life that is only found in Jesus. So guys, we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget the secret is out. <laughs>